All right, here's going to be the breakdown for that solo. I hope you dug it. There's lots of cool stuff in there. I started to throw uh, more of the kitchen sink, as they say, uh, in this one. We're going to kick it off with some bends and some bends that are going to be a little bit different if you're newer to country, but they got some really cool sounds in them, and that's why I wanted to include them right off the, the bat. So what we're going to wind up doing is we're, we're starting off on this E chord right here, and what we're going to wind up doing is we're going to be bending, hitting a note, keeping the note there and then hitting another note, but we're bending with our middle finger. I don't want to flip off the camera, but we're going to be using that. So you get this. And then we're going to re resolve it. The other thing is in between that, that note goes down and then up. So you get this upward motion, downward motion, and then upward motion. So the middle finger is taking care of several notes at once while you have to be independent with your pinky and then your ring finger. So you're, that's what's happening in between and you've got, that's really mimicking what a pedal steel is gonna kind of sound like uh, or a lap steel. So that's going to be the first lick. The next one, we're already on another chord because the, the whole design with this is that chords are going to come at you quicker. It's still a moderate uh, type of tempo, but uh, it's, it's, it's still, as we talked about in the preface for this, is the four on the floor is a driving type of thing. So we want to give driving type of principles and driving kind of uh, licks for this one. So we got... So we're doing two things in that lick right there. Okay, so I'd, I'd grab the upper structure to those uh, notes on the B and the E string with your ring and your middle once again. Did you hear what? It, I stopped that. That's another chicken picking kind of concept. Okay, so, and then you're going to end with a double stop, little baby bend there. You just don't worry too much about that. You want to land on your feet on all these licks, and that's... No pun intended. Okay, so out of this, we're going to the A chord, and what we're going to wind up doing is we're going to do a cool open string lick that encompasses and incorporates uh, some cool notes here. So we got... So you're going to have this type of look to your fingers, and what you're doing is this, then an open string... There's your tension right there. Doesn't sound too pretty if you if you just sit on it. Cool part is is it creates this passing tension that you resolve at the back end of the lick. That's what the lick is. I missed that G note there on that performance. So you get okay. So now we're at the, the E chord uh, for this, and there's a cool little thing. There's not much going on other than this setup that I really like for a back rake. So you get this type of sound. Totally borrowed from a lot of people do that. I can think of Brad Paisley as a guy that I know uh, uses that a lot, and I always love it because if you put it in the right spot, it's heavily rhythmic, but the only thing... It just sounds so cool. And it's another uh, example of what, how chicken picking can affect kind of an ordinary hodum. Nothing too particularly cool there, but, but if you do it... That's, to me, it's super hip, it's rhythmic. You're not having to do a lot of shredding, but you're really doing some cool stuff. Right back into it, we're on an E chord and we're gonna be doing a cool chicken picking line. Take our pick, hide it, and you're gonna be using your thumb and your middle finger. The notes are not that difficult. You're gonna go, okay, that's it. But it's what you gotta do in the right hand, so pay attention to what happens here. Okay, so as if that isn't difficult enough, you need to bring the pick back for the next lick. Check this out. Okay, 
So it's almost like now you see it, now you don't, now you see it again. That's the way I play it. There are other ways around it, but if you want to get that really staccato, um, really kind of choppy uh, sound for that, this is the way that I do it. It always works. You can. The cool part about using your fingers, I feel like you always have more touch um, and control. So out of that, you're going to be doing another bend. So you're doing the chicken picking in the beginning at the back end of the lick. And on that one, I'd actually grab that G string with, with the middle finger here. So right back into even more uh, bends. So that one right there is, once again, another uh, lick that is borrowed, stolen, whatever you want to call it, from kind of the pedal steel bag of licks. Um, and the cool part about that is we're doing a bend, uh, two notes on the upper structure, then a release, and then we're just going to end it fairly simple. So we got... To make sure to hold that up, and that's another lick that we're using our middle finger. So... With bending, you can use all four fingers in country guitar. This lick is really emphasizing the middle finger and other licks in this sonar. But I mean, you got to be prepared to, to bend them all. And I wanted to include a lot of bends like this because what it does is if you don't have it quite yet, don't worry about it. Think of it as your pump and iron for your fingers. And once you get that independent, any finger can plop any string, any string at any time. It's important to do, and this lick uh, emphasizes it quite a bit. Here's an open string lick that we're going to do to come out of that, so check this out. Okay, so we've gone from the four chord to the five chord, or A to B. So what we're doing... I like that. And what it's doing is just these little baby half steps. I'm doubling that B note. And, and, and if you can, try to sneak in the six there. It's not super necessary. Once again, just like a gymnast, you're doing all these crazy finger acrobatics. You want to land on your feet, in this case, the correct finger. So you got... So that, that's a lick. I mean, you're doing two or three or four different kinds of bends, and then you're having to, to end that phrase with an open string lick, which I thought was rather cool. So now we're going to go to uh, just a little bit of an easier part, but still including some double stops. These next two uh, things that we're going to be doing over the E chord and the D chord, relatively not difficult, but we're using just some pull-offs and stuff like that. So you got... Okay, so as we do that, we're imagining this little box pattern right here, and we're kind of emphasizing some flat sevens or the D note. Ending with a double stop, and then we're going to kick it into, because we're playing over D, the idea is I wanted to get you up the neck on this one. So we're, we're, we're working our way to getting that way. So this lick helps us do that. Okay, so on this one, we're just imagining a nice little D box here. And uh, you're just literally staying in that box pattern. So the idea is that sometimes, once again, when you play the heavier... Uh, technique type stuff, it's kind of nice to just have a little uh, measure or two to relax, you know, and just have something. So I wanted to create something like that, although it's definitely involved and it's still noty, which is what I wanted to do as we play the more driving type of stuff. It's that's just kind of what the song calls for, in my opinion. So now we've got we're going to go into a double stop type of pattern here over uh, the A chord. OK, so we got. <laughs> This is what I would call a repetitive lick. So what we're doing is we're quoting ourselves. We're going da 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 da. <laughs> so.
So you're sliding into this. And here's another way of playing double stops. Pinky, ring, middle. They've got to dra grab two strings apiece. That's a great little practice just to get that lick because you're going to have to come in, slide in. And then there's a rhythm to it. Use it all the time. Love it. It just pretty much outlines an A9 chord. Okay? So after you've got that, what I, I'm doing is I go right back into a pedal steel type of lick. Like, let's just throw a lot of pedal steel licks at them in this one. So this one, it goes like this. Okay, so as we do that, you're basically bending, moving up, and then grabbing that upper note. Now the phrasing to that was a little bit off, so let me do it again. Put that cluck in between. Using that dead note right there is gonna just give a really cool rhythm to it, no different than the... So, sometimes they're dead notes, but they really liven up your playing. There's a couple of fingerings for this one. I would probably recommend not that fingering. I would recommend using the pinky. So you got. Okay. Because you're going to have to wind up going, this pinky goes from here to here, 19 to 18, because you got... So you're bending at the 17th fret and holding down the fort on the 18 right here on the B string. Now here's another example of double stop bends where you're bending two notes with one finger moving towards the ground. Once again, cutting off the notes if you can. Okay, so that land, lands you right here. So what I wanted to wind up doing is let's do a double stop lick while we're over the A chord. So that's probably how I'd approach it. So we got. Let's change that. Let's use our ring finger. So the back end of the lick isn't that terribly difficult. I would use the double stop as now using our uh, ring finger only. You don't necessarily get style points for doing changing up fingerings, um, but as far as this goes, it's an easier way of doing it. As we're cramming more stuff into you know, uh, th this piece, I'd recommend doing what's ever easier on fingerings. If you've got some sort of bar like that, just like in the previous uh, bend, that's what I'd do as far as fingerings go. Now we end with what I would call a low uh, note pedal tone. So we're using this B note. So in betwixt or in between uh, a little bit of lick, so you got, okay? That type of notes, you've got. And here's the tricky part. Ham position is great on this. So that's cool as you slide down here. You're gonna have to switch it up. Did you see what I did there? You, you actually substitute that finger with your ring. It's a little bit tricky. Just make sure that you get that note in there. And it's a cool way of using a pedal tone lick, which is one of uh, uh, 
a, one of my favorite ways of kind of uh, playing at least uh, a pedal tone lick in that area. So I hope you dug that solo. There's a ton of material in there. So uh, uh, as far as chicken picking and pedal steel licks and all that, I wanted to throw a lot of it at you. Just make sure to practice things nice and slow and try to connect the ideas and the phrasing, and I'm sure it'll come out uh, uh, fantastic. So hope you dug that, and that's going to be your outlaw four on the floor groove in the key of E.